this video, we're going to cover Google search tools. If you go to a basic Google page, google.com, and you want to do a, a basic search, there's a couple of rules that you can add to your search to help limit your results. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say, for instance, I was going to look up the play Julius Caesar. If I look up Julius Caesar, you'll see here that I have about 23 million results, and that's quite a bit to look through and I would really want to narrow my results down so there are a couple of ways that you can do that from a normal Google search page and also using Google advanced search so we're going to take these one by one and, and slow down the process here and take a look but let me tell you what you get when you do a basic Google search if you didn't already notice this at the top of the page uh, right now we're looking at web articles that result from our search of Julius Caesar if you go to the images page You'll also see that there are several Google Images that are available here. And the thing to keep in mind about Google Images is that these results send back every image that's available that's accessible and searchable on the web. You can also narrow your search down on images a little bit further by clicking on these clusters at the top. For instance, these clusters tell you that this search right here includes Julius Caesar statues or Julius Caesar paintings. So if you wanted to add that search term to your search, you would just click on any of these clusters and it adds that search to your term. And then it yields those results. You also have to keep in mind that when you get Google Images back, not all of them are royalty free or free licensing. So if you use them, you need to make sure that you're not violating copyright. If you wanted to check on copyright issues, you might want to go to creativecommons.org. Beyond that, we also have shopping and videos. So if you were looking for a video of the play Julius Caesar, then the video results would show you any kind of videos, not just YouTube videos, but those from other websites like biography.com um, and history.com. And then there are books and several other things that are available as well. If we go to the more button, there's also some other things and including maps news and apps and this will not always result in this way what happens is web results come back in the order in which they're most numerous for instance the largest results come back with web images and videos depending on your search term let's say for instance if i were looking up frogs it would come back that the web results were most numerous and then images and then news instead of videos so that's a little bit different than what we had with Julius Caesar but beyond that you can look out here at the far right and there are also some additional search tools this is probably one of the most overlooked things about Google search if you click on search tools you'll notice that you can filter your results using any of these drop down menus and again these drop down menus are very dependent on the search term that you apply in your Google search. For instance, any duration, you can change this on videos, for instance, to a shorter video. If you don't want to show a very long video, you can you can filter your results down to a shorter duration. I'm going to clear that and then you can do um, any time. Any time basically is every video from all time and you can narrow that down to something more recent. If you were looking at questions about technology for instance if you wanted to know something about google tools and you wanted um, an answer that applies to the most recent version of the google apps that you're using you would probably want to narrow your results down to the past week or month especially since technology changes at such a rapid pace so i might want to narrow this down to the past week you can also uh, change your search results down to any quality or high quality if you want some HD quality videos and you can choose for closed caption videos and you can also select your sources like for instance you might want to weed out YouTube or National Geographic and go straight to PBS or vice versa now this specifically shows search tools for videos like I said these search tools will be different depending on what you're looking for if I go to the web and hit search tools. One of the great things about search tools on the web results is that I can change according to reading level. If I'm an English teacher or a special ed teacher and I have a student that reads at a lower reading level, then by clicking here, 
I can change my results and narrow them down to a basic reeling level and know that what I'm getting back is going to be at an appropriate level for my student. Very handy to have. If I clear these results, some of the other things that you'll see, um, again, you have any time. And of course, you can also narrow your results down to location. In addition to that, if, if I look here, there is a more section, but there are also some other things that you may not be aware of. For instance, if you go to scholar.google.com, you can search for anything on the web and get results for scholarly articles. So for instance, if I go back to Julius Caesar again, I can look up results in scholarly articles about the play Julius Caesar. Okay, but here again, I have a lot of results coming back and I may not have everything that I want. Some of these might be history regarding Julius Caesar and I want articles about the play. So I might want to add Shakespeare to my result. So I put a plus sign in, meaning to add Shakespeare, and I don't want historical articles, so I'm gonna put minus history. And that takes the search term history out of the, out of the uh, search. And then it narrows it down so that we can see citations um, for the play Julius Caesar. And here we go, we have some for the tragedies. And so you see, we've narrowed it down a little bit so that we can see only those results for the play by Shakespeare. There's some other things that you can do. If we go back to google.com, if you're looking for specific results and you want to make sure that your search terms are associated with, with each other, for instance, if I did uh, a search for technology in the classroom, I'm going to get results for every article that includes the word technology and in and the and classroom. As you can see, it shows that up here in the address line for what we're looking for. And I don't really want that. I want instances of the phrase, because you can see here, if we look inside the article, technology enabled classrooms, or just the word technology. And we've got over 287 million results. That's quite a bit. So if I put quotation marks around this search term, it's going to look for articles that contain the phrase technology in the classroom. And that narrows our results down to about 11 million results, which is much better. So that's just a tip that you might wanna, wanna keep into consideration. Also, when you're on Google, you can also look for Twitter handles by throwing the at sign in, or if you wanna look for hashtags, um, put the number sign in your search and you'll get only search results for hashtags that have shown up on social media. Now finally, what I wanna do is take you to the advanced search page. If you go to google.com slash advanced underscore search, it takes you to a page where you can narrow your results down by using all of these little search tips that I've given you along the way. I can find pages with certain words, phrasings, any of these words, none of these words, that's akin to putting the minus sign in as I, as I would have earlier um, when I did the plus Shakespeare minus history. Numbers, if you're doing specific numbers that include a unit of measure or dollars or years, you can include that here. Um, languages, regions, the last update. Again, a lot of those search tools that come up as a, as a tool button on a normal Google search can be taken care of at the start right here on an advanced search page. Um, one of the greatest things about this is that on safe search, you can narrow your results down to filter out explicit results. This is great if you're teaching in a classroom and you've got a, a projector showing what you're searching for on the screen. You don't want explicit results showing up in a Google image search or a Google video search. And so you can filter for explicit results in your advanced search from here. Well, hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can uh, do limit your results on a Google search. Uh, one of the things I'll also point out is that file type. If you wanted to do file type outside of an advanced search, 
on a normal Google page, let's say for instance I want Julius Caesar by Shakespeare and of the file type PDF. By searching for file type, you'll get all only those search results that are in PDF format. So if you wanted to apply that result outside of an advanced search, you could also do that here. Well, I hope this gives you some tips that you can use to limit your search results in a Google search.